11 St. Louis, 7 and 8 Arizona in a game where the Cardinals could have a 500 record for the first time. It's the last time they went to the postseason, and I believe 1998, That's of course, right. with Jake Plummer. Jake the Snake. Yeah, Jake the Snake, who, by the way, is where? Fishing somewhere. He's still on no, he's, he's, a, he's in competitive handball tournaments. Competitive too. handball? Yeah, he was in some big tournament he won, too. All right. Well, there, ready they, to be a Tampa Bay there's your update. Folks, have a great show. All right, anyway, let's get into the game a little bit. Arizona and uh, St. Louis. And, Pat, when you look at this, Arizona, is, they've gone in the right direction here with Ken Wizen. We've been sure. saying that the last few weeks. There's no playoff implications here. But with what you've seen from Arizona, and they pulled off last week in overtime, what do you like about this team? I like a couple of things. They are mentally tough. They are fighting through all their problems. They've had a lot of injuries. They don't have the full depth roster to incur these kind of injuries. They got beat up in the secondary. They've lost their safety, lost their starting corner. They've lost players in the front seven. So they've just kind of patched that defense together. I think Pendergrass has done a nice job of trying to scheme some stuff, get Darnell Dockett free. You'll see him standing up as a linebacker, down as a nose tackle, as an end. They got one rusher left, and they're trying to feature the guy. The guy's done a nice job. But people are double-teaming him and keeping a back end looking for him. And after he can't make any penetration into the backfield, usually the quarterbacks get the chance to do what they want, throwing the football. We saw Redman throw for over 300 yards last week in Atlanta. Here comes Bulger, who averages 311 yards throwing against Arizona the last two times he played him. He could easily get up to the 350 range. Yeah, he could. Uh, you know, St. Louis is a team that had high expectations coming into the season, but for this team as well, uh, injuries. A problem all season long, injuries, and then poor on defense, but that also because of injuries. When you look at all the teams at the bottom of the NFL right now with the worst records, is this the one that if you're a fan of this team, you could say, we should be really good next year, or we have a chance to be very good next season? Well, I think there's turmoil there, and I picked this team to be a playoff team this year. When I saw them this summer, I said, now they've got it all going on. The defense isn't good, but they're playing better. The young kid character impressed me right away. Thought they were going to be better on defense, good enough to support the offense. Then they lost Steven Jackson for a long period of time and we really couldn't function as an offense. Well, he's back. So he's good for over 140 yards of total offense in games like this. I expect that from him. And they have a lot of points to be scored by them. But I saw some things last week. Torrey Hull fighting with the coach on the sideline. No one's ever been able to figure out what they were talking about. I haven't had my favorite lip reader go look at that tape yet. Occasionally when I really want to know something, I have them do it. And they always tell me right away what it was. But... We're not up to that yet, but I am worried about where they are at and the state of mind they're in. The volatility, is there going to be a new GM? Are they going to fire the coach? I think there are some questions in St. Louis at the end of the season. Well, where they're going is with a top five draft pick, most likely. Uh, and here's mm -hmm. who the guys they may be looking at uh, come the 2008 draft at the end of April next year. You know, we know, we don't think, we know that they're not going to go after a quarterback. They have a big contract with Mark Bulger that he signed this preseason, so forget about that. Darren McFadden, the running back, will he be there? Would they even want to take him when they have Steven Jackson? couple of offensive or an offensive tackle there in Jake Long. You've got the big defensive tackle in Glenn Dorsey out of LSU and then a great defensive lineman, which is like what Adam Carricker was, which was a pass rusher in college, Chris Long, Howie Long's son. There, if I'm St. Louis, I think I need an offensive tackle, especially with, with Orlando Pace getting older. I would look at the offensive tackle and I look at the defensive tackle. They can't get strong enough on defense for my liking. They need to get better up front. You put a guy like Dorsey next to Carricker inside. Now we're talking about a young line that's one, going to be one of the better ones in the league. Remember, they've gone through this year without Leonard Little, too. Somewhere along the line, they're going to need an edge pass rusher. Not that you have to do that in the first round. But that's a problem for another day. I think Isaac Bruce is thinking about retiring, calling it quits from here. A new coach might keep him around another year or two. But, you know, Isaac goes home and doesn't come back till the end of, to start a camp. He's not one of those guys that's part of this thing uh, full time. They have some star players here. Let's not forget that. Maybe the best running back all around in the league, certainly second to Ladanian at worst. you got a quarterback that can generate 4,000 yards of throwing. You've got receivers. I'd like to see a better tight end situation there. They're not that far off, and they're also in a division. We, I think we can accept this. Is if you're going to jump into a division and try to go from last to first, we know what happens in the NFC South. I think it can happen in the NFC West, too. Although we've been saying that, and Seattle continues to win the NFC West yeah. year after year after year. All right, here for this game, let's see what the computer has to say. 10,000 tests, and here's what AccuScore has for this game. 72% of the time, the Cardinals came out victorious. Pat? I, I, you know, I'm not so sure the Cardinals are going to win. Remember, these teams split every year. So there's a good inner uh, division battle that goes on between these two. This game was pretty close last time. It was the Roderick Hood interception that separated these two teams. I, I would say that it won't surprise me if St. Louis wins. I'll agree with the computer for the time being because the one thing Wizard Hunt wanted to accomplish this year more than anything was home field advantage. He wins this game. He's going to finish up 6-2 and two at home. That's their objective. I think the players, they get great matchups with their receivers. They couldn't stop Bolden last time. 
Bolden last week with the bad toe, 13 receptions. He'll have another big day. Arizona wins the game. 13 receptions and two touchdowns in that game, and he became the fastest receiver right. to 400 catches all time in NFL history. For more on this game or any other in Week 17, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com and watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. For NFL.com's Pat Kerwin, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care. Thank you.